now let's discuss about the primary key and unique key unique key we have already defined but it is similar to the primary key and it is a very much important interview question also what is the difference between the primary key and unique key that's why we are discussing so let's understand what is a primary key a primary key is a column or set of column that unique identify each row in a table no two rows can have a same primary key value and it cannot be a null value in high level if i'll say the primary key in a primary key column if you are defining any column as a primary key it doesn't contain any duplicate value means it should always be unique that is the first thing it cannot be null that is the second thing you have to remember about the primary key in a primary key column we cannot have any null value and we can't have any duplicate value the third thing is like we can have only one primary key in the table so that is the thing now let's discuss about the difference between the unique key and the primary key so unique key also we use so that the column can contain only the unique value not the duplicate value and primary key also we are using so that we cannot have any duplicate value so the what is the difference between the unique key and the primary key this is a very common question so let's try to discuss that suppose i have on this table this is the table i have i have a id column name email and the phone number now i have to define one column as a primary key column so what is a primary key column in a primary key column column which cannot contain any duplicate value so you can see this is the suppose student column we have so we have a student id we can we have a student name we have a email and we have a phone so in this case which particular column cannot contain any duplicate value so every student will have a different student id right so it will always be unique and it cannot be null because every student will be having a student id so it can never be null so what we have defined we have defined this as a primary key now you can see we also have a email and the phone number so two two person cannot have a same email and two person cannot have a phone uh, same phone number right so in this case what we can do we can define as a unique so that it will contain only the unique value it can contain only the unique value unique value so now you can see right so in a table we can have only the one primary key but we can have a multiple unique key so that is the thing you have to remember what is a primary key a primary key is a column which cannot contain any duplicate value and it cannot have a any null value but in a case of a unique we can have a null value but it can contain any duplicate value so that is the thing you have to remember now let's create a table and let's see how easily we can define a primary key so creating a table is very simple so what you have to write create table suppose i am defining employee 3 and i have a id in teaser column i have a, a email and i have a, a phone number or let's take only the email so i have this particular column now i want to define id column as a primary key so what i can use id integer after that we have to use a primary key so like that actually we can define now if i try to execute this you can see it is completed now let's try to insert a value insert into employee 3 and the values id1 and the email abc let's take uh, abc now if i'll execute this that will get inserted now let me try to insert one more value now here also i am passing the same id this id we have defined as a primary key means right suppose i am entering the same id here so in this case what will happen I'll get one error. This is a primary key constraint. So always remember the primary key cannot contain a duplicate value. Now let me try to insert a null here. Now let me try to insert null here. So if I'll execute this, you can see primary key column cannot contain any null value. So that is the second thing we have to remember. So always remember primary key cannot contain duplicate value. It cannot contain a null value and we we can have only one column as a primary key in the table so that is the thing we have to remember so i hope you got the idea about the primary key